I'm leaving on a trip tomorrow and I need to pack. I always leave it at the last minute because I got it down to a T and because of the travel hacks that I've learned over the years, made up over the years of many travels and I wanna share them with you guys. So let's get packing. Roll your clothes instead of folding them. It actually saves you space when you roll your clothes all together instead of folding them and putting them on top of each other. Mark your suitcase as fragile, even if it is not because the people who are handling your suitcase they won't know that it's not fragile, but they'll see the sticker that says it is, and hopefully, hopefully, be more careful. Putting jewelry in pill containers is awesome. It keeps them organized, and it keeps you from losing jewelry. I tend to lose earrings all the time. Just one, though. Always. One goes missing. When you have a pill container, it doesn't happen as often. Still happens sometimes to me, but... Sunglass cases aren't just great for sunglasses. They're awesome for headphones and cables. If you're worried about packing gels and liquids, instead of buying the liquid shampoo and conditioner, get bar shampoo and conditioner. I absolutely am obsessed with a company called Rocky Mountain Soap Co. They're from Alberta. They make incredible natural products. There's also Lush. I also enjoy their shampoo, bars, and conditioner. Fold your soap in a washcloth. It is less gucky than keeping it in one of those plastic containers or a Ziploc bag. Frozen sponges. Is a great way to keep your snacks for the plane cold and get through security with flying colors. Bring an oven mitt for your curling iron or your straightener for the mornings that you have to pack up and leave super early. Hair conditioner can be used for other things than your hair. It can be used as shoe polish, it can be used as makeup remover, it can be used as shaving cream. If you wear bras, which I typically don't, I if I do, it's like these cloth things. I hate bras. But if you do wear bras, stack them on top of each other, it saves space. When you're packing your suitcase, put all the heavy items near the wheels of the suitcase so that when you zip it up and put it upright, the heavy items aren't gonna fall and crush other things. They're already gonna be on the lower end of your suitcase. Anything that you have that is breakable or is gonna explode, hairspray, shampoo bottles, put them in socks. That way, if they do explode, they've exploded in your socks. I always like to bring a pillowcase with me, especially if I'm staying in hostels and I just want my own pillowcase. It's also great for laundry. If you decide that you're gonna check your bag, make sure that you bring your toiletries, any breakables, anything that's super valuable, and a change of clothes in a carry-on bag that you're gonna bring with you on the plane. That way, if your luggage does go missing, you still have your valuables with you and a change of clothes, which is always nice. If you're going to a colder destination, wear as many items of clothing as possible for the flight. I'm talking like, layer it up, layer it up, wear your big bulky jacket, wear your big boots, wear two sweatshirts, a t-shirt, a long sleeve. You can always take it off when you're on the plane so you're not gonna like feel like you're in a sauna the whole flight. Sarongs are multi-purpose. You can use them for so many things. You can use it to cover up at religious monuments or temples or churches. You can use it as a blanket for if you're on an overnight bus and it's a little cold. You can use it as a beach towel. You can use it as a pillowcase. You can use it as a fashion accessory. The list goes on. Which leads me to bring versatile clothing. Use clothing that is reversible. Use clothing that can be made into a few different outfits. There's a company called Encircled. I'll leave a link in the description box below. And they make clothing specifically for travelers. I have a couple items of their clothing. This one shirt I have can be worn eight different ways. There's like all these buttons you can play with to change up the look of the shirt. Another brand, which I love, it's one of my favorite stores, it's called Faraday, and they make a lot of reversible clothing. I'm actually wearing a dress right now. This one's not reversible, but it's super light and really easy to pack. Packing cubes. Enough said. Life-changing. Seriously. Fold cables properly. I get in trouble all the time for this because I have tended in the past, and by past, I mean probably the last trip I took, to just stuff cables in a bag. But if you actually wrap them up properly, then they take up a lot less room and you don't wreck them and have to buy another one. And to limit the amount of cables you are bringing with you, see how many of your electronics actually take the same cable. You might be surprised. I have tended to, in the past, just clump all my necklaces together and then I spend hours trying to untangle them. If you take your necklaces and string them through a straw, it keeps them nice and untangled, super clean. It just makes life a lot easier. To keep your clothing and anything else in your suitcase from getting dirty, put the soles of your shoes in a shower cap. I'm gonna let you in on a dirty little secret. <sighs> Sephora, love it there. One of the main reasons is free samples. You can go into Sephora 
and asked for samples of pretty much anything to try out. I'm talking like a month worth of foundation in one sample. These samples are always under 100 milliliters, which means you can take it in your carry-on on the plane. Go tubes, fantastic. They are great if you just wanna pack a carry-on to squeeze in some shampoo, squeeze in some conditioner, some sunscreen. They're all under 100 milliliters, so you're not gonna have a problem with security. And you can get out every last drop of that shampoo. Another way to prevent your liquids or your gels from busting all over your bag. It's kind of very sexual. Unscrew the lids of each product, put some saran wrap over the bottle, and then screw the lid back on. If it bursts, it ain't going nowhere. Cotton swabs, great for many things, especially for cleaning those ears of yours. If you have an old medicine bottle, stuff them in there. It's a great way to keep them clean, keep them organized, and save space. If you're going international and you have a lot of electronics with you, bring an adapter, of course, but also bring a power bar. That way you can plug six different items into your power bar and only have to bring the one international adapter. And that was a lot of packing hacks, <laughs> but I hope you found them super helpful. I hope they make your packing experience way easier, way more efficient and less stressful for your next trip. If there's a packing hack that you guys have that you use that I haven't mentioned in this video, I really wanna hear from you. I'm sure we all do. So leave a comment below and share those with us. I would also love to know where you're packing your suitcase to go to next and what are your 2018 travel plans? Have you made them yet? Are you kind of like in the middle of planning them? Whatever it is, share with us. Let's inspire each other. All right, Travel Tribe, if you have suggestions for an upcoming video, share with us because I wanna turn them into a video. I love your suggestions and please like be extra creative. Let's make some like new videos that aren't already on the YouTube. Something different, something even bizarre, something extra creative. Let's have fun with it. There's like so many airplanes today. Where are them people going? Hey, a little water break's getting hot. Ah, oh, yeah, some soda water. All right, back in action. <laughs>